Hello, this is Denise from Paint a Party. I was going to do a kind of a DIY uh, tutorial on how to make a rake brush. Because um, people have asked what you use rake brush for and I actually love them. So here's one I made myself. Um, you can see it's basically just notched out. Okay, really so I'm going to show you how to make one yourself. So this is an older brush of mine. I would recommend using something that you aren't using for other things. And basically you're just clipping into it. So you just keep cutting. About halfway in. And keep going, keep going. And then every once in a while you can splay it out and see what parts you're missing. Just be careful of your finger, but you can just kind of notch out the areas that are a little thicker. Okay, it looks like I got about got it. I'm going to kind of round off these edges over here so we don't get a distinct brush mark. Okay, and there is a rake brush. So let's clear out the spot mm -hmm. and test it. See how it looks. Looks pretty good. Here's a branch, like if you were making a Christmas design or you wanted to do pine boughs for some reason, like kind of a Japanese thing. You can see how it makes these really cool, really cool pine bough effect. You want it kind of dry so you get that nice streakiness to it. And then you can also do like the grass effects I was telling you about. So especially like at Easter when you want to bury your eggs in some Easter grass. It makes really good grass effects. And then I love it for making beards. I usually put a little bit of star blend black underneath. So for my pirates I'll come like right down the middle just like this. Of course it's better on skin but and then I'll just kind of feather up from their jawline. Isn't that cool? Anyway the boys love it. And then I'll just kind of like paint a little outline of the beard or the mustache first and then I'll kind of like feather it down into their lip a little bit. And I'll even do it on their eyebrows too. So like if you have Hulk eyebrows, so you've drawn in the, you know, the line for the Hulk eyebrow and then you can kind of, you know, do this along there and make it really cool and make the eyebrows look realish. And then another thing I like to do is around like uh, skeleton eyes or let's say zombies or something like that. I test it on my arm first just to make sure that it's not loaded very much because you don't want to make a big fat black mess. So see how it's kind of light? So I'll come in here and do kind of a like bags under their eyes. It's a really cool effect. Or like if I have a shadow or something like that, I'll just kind of come in here and deepen it. And it doesn't, you know, make like a cartoony black line. It's kind of a a softer brushed look. And then this is what rake brushes are especially made for is like fur. So if you have those panda eyes That you, and ears that you want to make furry or you want to kind of blend one color into the other you get the rake brush with one of the colors and you can blend it in and get really cool fur effects with it so you can go in and out I like using it for white bunnies and I just do the whole bunny in it when I want to paint it and then another cool thing you can do, especially now that we're 
around Halloween time is get a really nice dry effect on it and you can kind of see how dry it is on my hand you might even want to dry brush this on your own but then you can make like really cool scrapes and cuts with it so maybe put like a star blend bruise underneath it and then you can make it look like a nice one scrape. more tip while I've got you here I'm going to show you how to save these favorite brushes of yours that might be losing their um, coating on them, your wooden brushes. So you can see this is a soft comfort that I bought and now it's peeling from repeated washings. Okay, so what you do is you take off all the paint um, with some, you know, some kind of knife or just peel it off with your finger when it's soft. Sand it down with the sanding block, make sure it's all smooth. And then I got this tip from um, Shannon Fennell. I hope I'm saying that right, Shannon. Anyway, just take black nail polish or your favorite nail color polish if you want to make them pink or something else. And I kind of start right in here. See where the metal meets here? That's where the water kind of gets in. So I'm going to start right up there. Go halfway in the the ferrule and halfway into the brush. Kind of use that as a guide. Okay. Of course this would be on a brush that was all sand and everything, but you get the idea. And then you just go and coat it with the nail polish. And that will save um, some of your favorite wooden brushes that you're maybe losing the handle on, but you still like the tip.